Season's greetings. I'm Parnell Eclair. It's time once again to take a familiar Christmas carol and have a close look at the lyrics to find out what makes it special and so endearing to so many. This year I've chosen to deconstruct that old holiday favorite, The Twelve Days of Christmas. A lengthy song will make you weep for the brevity of, say, Frosty the Snowman. Twelve days is long, maybe unnecessarily so. So, Let's have a closer look, shall we? I hope you like birds because this Christmas carol features a lot of them. Partridge, turtle dove, French hen, calling bird, golden ring pheasant, goose, swan. And that's just in the first seven stanzas with five more stanzas to go. This is no song for anyone with an imminent appointment to keep, suffering from respiratory issues or unstable with a short fuse. Let's begin. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Great. She told you she wanted a new Louis Vuitton handbag or some diamond earrings, but she got a live partridge. Fine. Okay. Let's hope your true love understands that most of the joy in the Christmas morning gift exchange is the surprise that greet all of us as the wrapping paper comes off. Moving on. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. I'm sensing a troubling trend here, but there's more aviary surprises in store, dear singer. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens. Oh, baby, thank you for the truly magical Christmas gift surprise. I get the Swiffer and some Clorox so I can deal with this bird shit that's everywhere and piling up fast. My beautiful wife, Hortense Eclair, usually has a coy, charming smile with which to greet me Christmas morning, but she'd scowl mightily if I chose live birds for her Christmas presents. Look at my lovely bride the other day at our first Christmas party of the year at the Beverly Hills Hotel, no less. The party's theme? You guessed it, the 12 days of Christmas. Hold on singers. We're not yet done restocking Noah's Ark with bird specimens. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds. Stop. What the hell is a calling bird? Nobody knows. Next. On the fifth day of Christmas, the rapidly losing patient's gift recipient has enough newspaper on the floor of her house to resemble a bird cage. Why? Because on the fifth day, my true love gave to me five golden rings, a reference to the ring-necked pheasant. Well, I can see what the family dinner will include this year. Something fowl-related. Oddly, not chicken or turkey. What a jip. Moving on. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a real surprise. Six geese. Six geese a-laying, particularly. Have you had a Christmas morning omelet made with goose eggs? I haven't, but I can only imagine it's odd tasting, and the salmonella likelihood. Don't get me started on that. When the ER tells your wife she'll be spending Christmas Day in a semi-private hospital room because she wolfed down your lovingly prepared two-goose egg omelet, she won't be in the mood to sing any Christmas carols. So you're thinking we're finally done with the feathered gifts that make Christmas a special time of year. Well, then you haven't been singing this droning, annoying, never-ending Christmas classic long enough. Because on the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans of swimming. Well, this is just too beautiful. It's the middle of winter, and now you have to somehow put, a, put in a pond in the frozen backyard for the seven swans to go a-swimming. 
Understandably, at this point, you may be tempted to enter full old-time family dinner of your mode. Get the axe out of the shed, find a tree stump, and get those seven swans ready for the roasting oven. Christmas dinner for the neighborhood! I should note here that this song's gift giver has a real OCD problem with all the bird gifts, in my opinion. Maybe after the holidays, some therapy with a trained professional who deals with avian-related behavioral problems would be a nice gesture. Don't get too comfortable, dear listener. We still have four more days of Christmas gift giving to go. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a milking. Who wants warm, fresh from the cow in the barn, unpasteurized, non-USDA approved eggnog, you ask? I don't, I don't, your guests will shriek in worried unison. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing. Well, forget the scantily clad Radio City Rockettes. It's 2023 and your true love is conscious of our changing times and that means a blend of women and men dancing and they're not necessarily young, fit, toned and agile. Maybe there will be polls for the dancing. If so, Christmas wishes do come true for some. Day 10 brings us 10 lords a leaping. Really, leaping. I wonder how these kidnapped English lords feel about leaping just to give your loved one a treasured Christmas. Day 11 gets better. Your true love amazes you with 11 pipers piping. Oh, speaking only for myself, I absolutely love the sound of a high-pitched pipe squealing. But its tonal beauty is only gloriously magnified when it's 11 pipers playing some off-key, unidentifiable tune. You wouldn't be alone if by the 11th stanza you wished ravenous wolverines would suddenly run into the room and chew off your ears. By this time, if you're reaching for your stash of THC chewables, or that old hashish pipe from college, nobody will fault you. Ah, sweet relief. We're almost done. To wrap things up with our 12 days of bird squawking and eardrum piercing musical instruments, your true love finally gives you the gift that dreams, the Stephen King variety anyway, are made of. Yes, you are now given 12 drummers, drumming. Why? Because one amateur drumming pounding away is never truly enough. It's why legendary rock bands, the Grateful Dead and the Allman Brothers always use two drummers. Give me 12 drummers and only then can I truly be happy, you say to yourself. How do you skip the glass and just hand me that bottle of Jack Daniels my boss gave me for Christmas? He was reasonable, thoughtful, kind, and knew how to really brighten Christmas Day for me. Even Santa has turned sour on this Christmas song classic. Sour mash, maybe. Cheers. Well, there you have it, the 12 days of Christmas deconstructed. Merry Christmas and happy, Merry Christmas and happily carol, Merry Christmas and happy caroling from the Parnell and Hortense Claire family, everyone.
the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree.